could use Aspen properties, which is another thing that's available to calculate uh, boiling points for pure components. Now you'll notice this looks a lot different, uh, and in part it's because the Hysis was its own independent thing, and then it got bought by Aspen. So it behaves a certain way and looks a certain way because it's trying to be compatible with this other thing uh, called Hysis. Um, whereas there was this other company that made something very much like Hysis called Aspen. Um, and so Aspen Properties has a lot of similarities to Aspen, the modeler of chemical processes, and uh, fewer similarities to Aspen Hysis, which is this legacy program that we happen to use. So uh, it's good to get practice in both of them. And there's things that are similar, but things that are annoyingly different. So I'll take you through it. So uh, first, you want to start a new file. And you want it to be a blank case. So you select blank case and you hit create. Uh, you won't have this um, about saving your old thing. You'll just have something that looks like this. And so it's going to start up, and here it is. And so, uh, like in Hysis, you've got to go pick components and then pick uh, how you are modeling those components. So we come over here, and I find it most helpful to start by clicking on the overall little file thing as opposed to the little broken down bit. So I'm going to hit components, and now I'm going to add a component. So let's add methanol. So I'm going to just type methanol here, hit enter, and look, there it is. Okay, got it. And so you see components has uh, converged. That's okay. So now I'm going to click methods. And this is going to give us our chance to select a property package. And where we're going to select our methods uh, is over here in this drop down. There's this really nice thing, methods assistant, that'll you know, play, play 20 questions with you, help you pick a good uh, method. But right now we're going to just hit this drop down and you'll see something interesting. There's a lot more methods here uh, than there are in Hysis. And that's because this is giving us all of the methods that are in Hysis, I believe, plus the ones that are available in Aspen. Um, and many of these are kind of tweaked versions of approaches you might have heard of. So this is Wilson, but there's Wilson with modifications of uh, various types. So these are fundamentally built on the same package uh, and then tweaks for uh, different things. So what we're looking for is something that is an equation of state as opposed to an activity model. As I said uh, in the other video, we'll get to activity models soon, but right now we're going to do equations of state. And so I'm going to pick SRK. Uh, for old time's sake. So here we go, SRK, selected, and everything here is showing us that it's converged. So yay, time to go. So what we're going to do here, uh, I know PT envelope sounds like it'll work. I couldn't give it to get it to give me a good graph. So maybe you can play with that, get it to give a good graph. But I find that this pure analysis uh, works pretty well for me. So I'm going to click on this and it brings up uh, my analysis window. My status is red. I haven't told it enough for it to do anything. So we are interested in thermodynamic properties and the property that we are interested in, if we're trying to find the boiling point, uh, I recommend, you'll notice as you go through here, uh, saturation temperature does not appear to be something one of the 10 million things it'll calculate, but one of the 10 million things it will calculate is fugacity. So I'm going to hit fugacity, uh, and I want to know the fugacity of the vapor and of the liquid. And here is where our knowledge of how equilibrium works comes into play. We know that when the fugacity of the vapor equals the fugacity of the liquid, that is uh, the boiling point under those conditions. So yay. Uh, so I need to add my component. So I'm going to hit this component, methanol, hit a little arrow, selected. I'm going to make sure my pressure, since I want to know the boiling temperature at a pressure of one atmosphere, I've got that selected here. So now I hit run analysis. And it thinks for a moment, hopefully not too long. 
and ta-da, here we are. We have a lovely graph. And I want to point out to you, everything we've done so far is selectable as tabs up here. So you can go back and change things if you want to. Uh, but here we are. We have the fugacity of the vapor is uh, this blue line. You'll notice it's more or less one. That is, uh, fugacity of a thing that's behaving ideally is pretty much the pressure. So you see that the fugacity of the vapor is pretty much the pressure because methanol is being treated as pretty ideal by this approach that we're using. And then this is the green is the fugacity of the liquid. And you see right here, they cross. And so that looks like, um, I can zoom in actually, if I want to get this very well. Um, I can also often click and get it to tell me so uh, y, uh, x and y right about there is a 65, just a hair over 65 degrees when y 1.01. So um, we've got 65.3 as our predicted boiling point. And so that is one of many fun things you can do with Aspen properties. You can also get this to tell you other things like the heat capacity. Um, and theoretically, I should be able to get it to do this PT envelope. And in doing this PT envelope, um, I'm going to say we have a flow rate of one, just so I have something going on here. When I do this uh, PT envelope, gosh, it really should um, be able to give me a temperature and pressure uh, phase envelope, right? It's a dew and bubble point uh, curve. And so if I say my initial pressure is zero bar, and I say run analysis, ooh, all results will be purged. Wow, okay, I guess zero bar, not a good thing to start with. Let's start with half a bar. See if this works. There we go. So this right here ought to be our uh, pressure versus temperature. This ought to be our phase envelope, right? It says PT envelope. Uh, that should be what we have. Now, uh, I don't like this graph much in part because you see the pressure, I haven't been able to force it to have the pressures stay low enough that I can see what I want. So we want to know what happens right around 1.01 .01 bar which is way down here. Um, so the scale is a little unfriendly. And even if I zoom in, so here I am zooming in 200%. Uh, so one bar, it's also giving me a very odd answer. All right, okay, now we can see one bar, one bar right there. I'm zoomed in and it's telling me 45 degrees C. And we know that's not the answer. We just got the f for fugacity equals fugacity. So at the moment, I'm gonna recommend against um, using the PT envelope until someone tells me how it is. Uh, here, let's merge the plot. What happens? <laughs> Nothing good. Um, uh, so we're going to recommend against using that PT envelope thing and just sticking with using uh, when fugacity equals fugacity because that seems to give us the most valid answers. All right. Thank you.